Weather on the Threes, weekdays on Good Morning Acadiana. You're watching news that gets to the point on KATC TV 3's Good Morning Acadiana. Good morning, Acadiana. Here's a look at what's happening today. Benedict XVI leads his first mass as the world's newest pope. We will take a look. We'll get local re reaction to the cardinal selection of the new pope. And a JFK-bound flight touches down with one extra passenger. Hmm, what's that? Oh, wow. baby, you know that's oh, that's yeah. got to be great. You know, uh, just having birth right there on At the 30, old plane. Thirty thousand feet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, we do have a new pope. We How do. about that? Uh, Benedict the 16th, Cardinal Ratzenberger from Germany. And uh, should be interesting the next few days to see yeah. as, as he begins his legacy as pope. You were telling me, I got to move from pope to weather forecaster. You're at that weather forecasting meeting with meteorology people and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Y'all did not forecast the heavy rains that sunk one of the boats. Oh, no, no, there was no rains, but everybody's been talking about that cruise ship. But no, they have little excursions that everybody uh -huh. got to go on. And some of the meteorologists were on a deep sea fishing thing, and, and the boat actually sank. And Rob <laughs> sent me an email. He found it on one of the News Blues websites uh -huh. that a lot of the news people look at. Right. Some of the pictures are already there. Oh, we want to the pictures are there. We want to yes. see the pictures. Can meteorologists swim? That's yeah. what we had to find out. Paint a picture of Acadiana's forecast. No, everybody was fine. 62 <laughs> at 501. We're looking for a high temperature today, getting up to about 81 degrees. We'll have more on your forecast in just a minute. Pope Benedict XVI has laid out his vision for the Catholic Church. Early this morning, he celebrated his first Mass as the 265th legislature. The U.S. must also ask the State Bond Commission for permission to issue those bonds. Meantime, two LUS customers are suing the utility system, saying it's overcharged ratepayers $1.6 million. LUS sometimes buys power from other companies. The lawsuit says the system overcharged for that power. LUS Director Terry Huval tells KATC he is surprised by the lawsuit. He says the claims are not true, and LUS even loses money on some power it buys from other companies. In Opelousas, 45 people will be out of work when the FMC pesticide plant closes its doors. You know, why don't you wear a hat? I one like day? the princess I love those division. Hats. They're beautiful. I know. I think I'm going to go talk with those ladies. Ladies some more. used to wear hats all the time. All the time. I remember growing up as a little boy, I see ladies wearing hats, and, and I just think it looks so stylish, so it cool. Does. So Look how pretty they are sitting over there. Very much so. Okay, I'm wearing my hat tomorrow. Put them off tomorrow. So anyway, okay, we're going to take a look at some of the birthdays you 